I'm Garfield. You probably figured that out from the opening titles, but I digress. Today's episode is about complaining. <laughs> huh? And I see we have a lot of complainers out there at the moment. And I really hate it when he talks to the camera like that. <clears throat> now, I used to be a complainer. Oh, and also, I've already seen this episode. <laughs> Perhaps you remember how I used to be back in, oh, around season two? I complained about every little thing. I wanted a hamburger with everything on it, and by that, I meant lettuce, tomato, onion, a hot dog, a roast turkey, a sausage lasagna, an order of shrimp chow mein, a prime rib, strawberry shortcake. <sighs> This cereal is soggy. I wanted it to be more crunchy. <laughs> We're all out of tartar sauce. Yep, I was a complainer, all right. Up until one day when Squeak said something to me. You sure complain a lot, Garfield. Those aren't complaints, Squeak. I just notice a lot of things that aren't up to my standards. Yeah, that's what Renfrew says, too. Renfrew? I'm starting to sound like Renfrew? Now, some of you may not know... We don't know who Renfrew is! I thought you said you already seen this episode. <coughs> this is Renfrew. He's a most unusual breed. He's a caninus complainus. Renfrew had two main activities in his life. One was avoiding Al, the dog catcher. There he is! There's that dog again! <coughs> he won't get away from me this time! Oh. Wow! I got you, you mangy mutt. Uh, sorry about the nut and the mangy mutt thing, fella. Uh, I said I was sorry. And the other thing Renfrew did all day was to complain. Renfrew complained about everything. The park is way too crowded today. What are all these people doing here? What a stupid color to paint a fire hydrant. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Doggy. Hmm. My mother and I were having dinner at a big, fancy restaurant, and there was this bone left over. And I thought, oh, I'll bet that nice doggy I see around the neighborhood would like it. <laughs> so I brought it home. And here it is! I hope you enjoy it, Mr. Doggy! You call that a bone? <laughs> I always thought Renfrew's motto was, if you can't say something negative, don't say anything at all. Mostly Renfrew complained about how he believed cats had it so much better than dogs. All you cats have to do is lie around the house all day. I don't have a house. You cats have it so easy. Humans just give you food. Humans never give me food. All cats have to do is lie around all day and be petted. Nobody ever pets me. His complaining got to all the cats in the neighborhood, so what did they do? They complained to me. I'm gonna pay this guy yeah, driving yeah, me yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah. You gotta oh, do something, complain. God. All right, all right. Stop complaining to me about Renfrew complaining to you. I'm sick of it. And I think I have an idea what we can do about it. There's an old saying, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. I decided it was time for Renfrew to get his wish. Now you guys understand what you need to do, right? Clear as thinly sliced cheese. Oh good, here they are with him now. Are you ready when I need you? I'll rehearse, huh? Doty. Let's hear it. Not bad. Explain to me why you brought me to Garfield's house. Which, by the way, could use a new coat of paint. Because you're always saying how much better cats have it than dogs. And Garfield's got a training program so you can join us. Yeah, become a cat. Become a cat? Mm. Ready to be catified, Renfrew? 
Uh, uh, hold on here. Remember how you were saying cats get to just lie around the house all day? Yeah, and how humans feed us? And pet us? You can't do it. You can't train a dog to be a cat. Well, I can't, can't I? Oh, Odie Cat! Odie Cat! <laughs> oh, I sure hope no mice come along. Oh no! It is a cat! <laughs> Garfield, you think I could become a cat? Sure. Of course, there is a slight risk here. You might not turn out like me. There's always the danger you might turn into one of these. Let's start the lessons. The first thing I had to teach him was how to sound like a cat. Hmm. All right, Renfrew, you have your script there? Read what's on it. <coughs> Meow. Okay, now keep going, keep doing it. Meow. 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 Better. Now one more time. Oh, sorry. I'm not used to learning a foreign language. <laughs> I taught him how to annoy the mailman. Bad, I'll give you a B plus. I tried to teach him how to catch or at least chase mice. Oh help! The big bad cat is after me. I will catch you and eat you, mouse. Yum yum. <laughs> Do I really have to eat him? Uh, I wouldn't. And then came the most important lesson of them all. All right now, Renfrew. As a cat. This will be your main activity, so take your time and do this right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Huh? Oh, you're good at this. If I can make one suggestion, a truly professional cat picks a spot to sleep and where he'll be in the way when humans want to walk, like this. Garfield, I just got a bill from Vito's. Did you charge 7000 But apart from that, I think you're ready to graduate. And by the power vested in me by no one, I now pronounce you Renfrew the Cat. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, all my fellow cats. Well, I think I'll go claw some drapes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, 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 God. Nice going, Garf. <laughs> you actually made him think he's a cat now. Yeah, he totally fell for it. Hmm. For now, but at least we don't have to listen to his complaints about cats for a while. That's what I thought. As it turned out, within five minutes, Renfrew realized something. <laughs> I'm... I'm still a dog. That sneaky cat. I'm gonna go tell him what I think about it. It was Renfrew's worst nightmare. Now he really had something to complain about. <laughs> I did it. After months and months of chasing him, I finally caught this dog. I did it! <laughs> and I did it when my boss was here to see it. Look, Chief. <laughs> I caught that dog I've been chasing for so long. I can't tell. What kind of dog is he? Meow. Al, this is a cat. No, he's a dog. He, he's he a do goes meow. He's a cat. You're a dog catcher. You're not supposed to catch cats. Let him go. You imbecile. Can't tell a cat from a dog. I should fire you right now. And that? was when Renfrew decided that cats were all right, even if he wasn't one. So that's how Renfrew gave up complaining all the time. <laughs>
He still complains from time to time. We all do. There's some things in life worth complaining about. Hey, Garfield! That guy, for instance. I didn't like that Nermal didn't have any lines in this cartoon. Oh. That makes two of us. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Nermal. My agent. I could have played a much bigger part. Well, you're kind of limited in what you can... Limited? Garfield, you've known me for years, since before we were both in CGI. <sighs> you know what I could do. Name a role. Anything. Well, um... You know how Odie played a cat earlier? Could you play a dog? A dog? A cinch. Watch this. Ruff! Ruff, 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 ruff. Hmm. Ruff, 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 ruff. Huh? 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 Now tell me that wasn't convincing. Got him! Ha ha ha! I did it! I caught a dog! I know it's a dog because it barks what? like one! <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm not a dog! I'm a cat! <laughs> in fact, I'm the cutest cat in the world! Let me out! Cindy, do something! I can prove I'm a cat! <laughs> so now, does anyone else have any complaints? Nah, I didn't think so. Garfield. We're going bird watching and we won't be back until late. <laughs> but don't worry, I prepared your lunches and I prepared your dinners. Thanks, I was worried. The blue covered dishes contain your lunches. The red covered dishes are your dinners. Dinner is for later. Do not eat it now. <laughs> the reason we're staying out late is that there have been reports of owls in the area lately. So don't wait up for us. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Blue covered dishes are for now. Red mm -hmm. covered dishes are for later. You got that, Odie? Uh huh. <laughs> let's eat our lunches from the blue covered dishes. <laughs> okay, Odie. Now remember, we don't eat our dinners until later. Three, two, one. Later! <laughs> John will be pleased. He always tells us not to eat between meals, and we didn't. Oh, very pretty. I just saw a whole bunch of eastern bluebirds. Great! I spotted some sparrows, and I think I saw two owls. Owls in the daytime? I don't think so. Owls are nocturnal. Nocturnal? Uh, what does that mean? A nocturnal animal is an animal that sleeps during the day and functions at night. An animal who sleeps at night is said to be diurnal. Hmm. Diurnal sleeps at night. Nocturnal sleeps during the day. Uh, what do you call an animal that sleeps both night and day? Garfield. Garfield. I knew it. <laughs> well, I think I did see two owls, though. Possible, but not likely. Bobby, you shouldn't even be up at this hour. This is the time all good little owls are asleep. I don't want to be asleep, Mom. All the exciting stuff in life happens during the day. I want to go out. I need to learn to protect myself. I can teach you how to protect yourself, but you tuck your wings in and go to sleep now. You can't teach me the kind of stuff I need to learn, Mom. I'm going off to find someone who can. 
No, no, no. No hot dogs for you. Your owner hasn't paid for the last 447 you ate. What? I should suffer because John's a deadbeat? Oh, please. Please, 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 please. <sighs> All right. One more, but that's it. <laughs> Thanks. I could never resist a bleeding pussycat. <laughs> I think I'll save this for later. <laughs> okay, it's later. <laughs> hey, Bruno, that was my hot dog. I mooched it myself. <clears throat> and it was delicious. Bruno, do you know what I'm going to do? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to go get another hot dog. Get this one with the spicy mustard. I like him that way. Sweet dreams, Bobby dear. Uh, Bobby, don't hide from your mother. You know, I don't see very well, especially during the day. Bobby? Where has that boy gone now? Bobby! Bobby? <laughs> Why has that man deserted his post? Close for today. No more hot dogs. This means you, Garfield. Huh. Bobby! Oh, he's flown away from home. Oh, there he is. I knew that cute ball of feathers anywhere. Now where am I going to get something to eat? Oh, I wish I had someone to just take care of me. Oh, Bobby! I know you anywhere, my dear sweet baby. Hey, I think you've got me confused. Promise me you'll never stray far from your mother again. Let me hold you in my wings. Listen, Abby, you've made a mistake. Would I... you like me to get you something to eat? Look, I said I'm not your... Speak up. You know I don't hear so well. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Mommy dear. I would like something to eat. I would like a whole pizza all to my little self. Whole pizza? Fine. With mushrooms? Yes, please. With extra cheese? Yes, please. With dead rodents on top? No, please. You'll stay right there, Bobby. I'll be right back with your pizza, dear. <laughs> I will be back in 15 minutes, Angelica, my love. I have to get this mushroom and extra cheese pizza over to Mrs. Pachagaloo. Vitos Pizzeria, Vitos speaking. Ah, Mrs. Pachagaloo. I was just walking out the door with it. Vito will be there before you can say, well, anything you want to say. Goodbye, Mrs. Pachagaloo. <laughs> Mrs. Pachagaloo's pizza. How will I ever explain this to Mrs. Pachagaloo? <laughs> I'm coming, Bobby. Your mother's bringing you your pizza. Oh, I hope it doesn't have dead rodents on it. Mm. Why, this is delicious. <clears throat> I mean, this is really delicious. I knew you'd like it. And now, <laughs> since it's the middle of the afternoon, it's the time when all good little owls are asleep. Oh, I could use a little nap. Maybe you'll be... No! The only safe place to sleep is in a big tree. <laughs> Put me down! Put me down! Mommy, dear. Ah! I think I just spotted a Baltimore Oriole. Ooh, and I'm seeing... Huh? I think that's an owl. Uh, no, it's two owls. A mother carrying her baby, I think. Ooh, what do they look like? Uh, I can't see the mother too well, but... Baby looks like. Well, what does the baby owl look like? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. There's our tree. <laughs> I should... ah, and there's a good place for you to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't go flying anywhere. It's time to sleep. Mrs. 
Mrs. Al, I have something I gotta tell you. What is it, Bobby Dill? <laughs> I'm not Bobby Dear. Uh, I'm a cat. <laughs> of course you are, dear. No, I'm a cat. My name is Garfield. Y you don't believe me? Here, just feel my arm. Fur, not feathers. But then, where's my Bobby? Where's my Bobby? He must have flown away from home. Oh, I, I tried to be a good mother to him. I'm sure you were. I like being a mother. Until he comes back, if he comes back, could I be your mother, Garfield? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that would work uh, out. You like pizza, right? Oh, yes. I'll go get you another pizza. No, no, no. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> Remember, no dead rodents. <sighs> I gotta get down from here. Do not fear, Mrs. Bartikolu. I have made for you another pizza, and I will be right over with it. With the promises. Now, if I could only find the keys to my van. <laughs> ah, my keys! Right where I don't remember leaving them. Now, Mrs. Portugal loops a pizza! It is a goal again! <sighs> oh, I gotta get out of here before she gets back. Even if she is bringing a pizza! <laughs> I heard someone huh? yelling. Is my mum all right? <laughs> she is, but I'm not. You must be the son she thinks I am. Well, why'd you leave? Doesn't she take good care of you? <laughs> she takes great care of me. That's the problem. I'm old enough now that I need to learn how to take care of myself. See you around. Huh? Hey, hey. Oh. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you up in our home. Yes, well, I fell out of our home. Ooh, thanks for the pizza. Are you sure you're not my son? You look so much like him. I'm sorry. I wonder if I'll ever see my Bobby again. Oh, well, at least I got a pizza out of the deal. That was a touching scene with the owls. It made me hungry. Look, Bruno, the rare green-eyed distraction bird. Where? Hey, that's mine now. I stole it fair and square. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Oh, good. I'd like to learn Spanish or Mandarin. Stop it. Leave me alone. Get, get off me, you owl. Keep the owl away from me! Ah! Naughty owl! Ah! Oh, Mom! Bobby! You've come back to me! You're not gonna fly away again. Nope. I want to learn how to take care of myself. And I can see there's plenty to learn from this lady. <laughs> can you teach me that cool screech you made? You just need to feel someone you care about is in trouble. Ah, a happy ending. And you know what's even better than a happy ending? A happy ending with pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure glad I ordered it without the dead rodent topping. This is the story of the pie, the cat, and the bulldog of doom. This is the pie. This is the cat. 
And this, for reasons that will become apparent, is the bulldog of doom. Especially if you're a cat. One day, Miss Generic Housewife model baked a pie. The aroma began to make its way to surrounding homes. And there's a curious thing about this neighborhood. No matter which way the wind is blowing, the smell of something freshly cooked will always somehow make its way to the nostrils of this cat. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bruno's decided to help himself to that elderly gentleman's lunch. Wow. Even I wouldn't do something that rotten. <laughs> Bruno! What are you doing eating here? Why aren't you over on Crestview Avenue? That's where I'm heading. What's over on Crestview Avenue? You don't know? Oh, nothing. There's nothing going on over there. Uh, I'll see you later. <clears throat> What's going on over on Crestview <laughs> Avenue? Like I said, nothing. No, there's no free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival. Ooh, is a free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival? Who told you? Uh, why am I bothering with this crummy sandwich when I could be eating all the pancakes I could eat? Yeah. Here, you can eat this. Pancakes, here I come! <laughs> Bruno's not the brightest character on the series. If there were free pancakes over on Crestview Avenue, do you think I'd be here? <laughs> hey. My lunch! Somebody stole my lunch! <laughs> oh, thank you, kitty cat. You deserve a reward. <laughs> Would you like half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich? No. And it was about then that the aroma of freshly baked pie reached the cat's nostrils. That smell. I know that smell. I know that smell. I love that smell. Pie! Pie. Oh, wonderful pie. Apple pie, peach pie, cherry pie, poisonberry pie, coconut pie, any berry pie. Pie with ice cream on the top, pie with ice cream on the side. But it didn't really matter what kind of <laughs> pie it was. Scientific testing has shown that this particular cat will eat just about anything. Uh, tuna sandwich on whole wheat bread. <laughs> he eats it. Shrimp chow mein with crispy noodles. He eats it. Bean burrito with a side of nachos. He eats it. Meat lasagna. He eats it. And the plate it's on. Two three-minute eggs and home fries. He eats it. Uh, chicken fried steak. All in all, he eats it. they tested 7,423 foods that afternoon. He eats it. And discovered that the only ones the cat would not eat were... Anchovies on pizza, most healthy foods, anything that resembles yogurt, John's meatloaf, a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich, and raisins. Raisins? Yuck. You know how they make raisins? They take gravel and they soak it until it wrinkles. This is useful information, Dr. Whipple. Thanks. We'll be heading home now. Oh, and on the way home, could we stop for hot dogs? And so the cat followed the wonderful aroma all the way to the house in the next block. Lemon meringue pie, chocolate meringue pie, meringue meringue pie. It was there that he found the source of the wonderful aroma. Pie. Unfortunately, he saw something else there. It was... <laughs> the Bulldog of Doom! Yes, between the cat and the wonderful smelling pie, there stood but one obstacle, the Bulldog of Doom. The cat looked at the pie. Then he looked at the bulldog. Then he looked at the pie again. Then he looked at the bulldog again. Then the pie, then the bulldog, then the pie, then the bulldog. And finally, he came to the conclusion that any sane, pie-loving cat would reach. I'm giving up. No, I'm not. I can't leave that delicious smelling, beautiful looking, whatever kind of pie it is pie, there uneaten like that. I must brave the bulldog of doom. Yes. 
go to sleep, my baby, my baby, my baby. Go to sleep, my baby, I'm going to eat the pie. I'm almost to the pie. I'm almost to my demise. No, no, stop! I don't want pie! Nice food, Dr. Well, now you know why he's called the Bulldog of Doom. If I know me, I'm gonna go after that pie, and the Bulldog of Doom will do me. How can I stop me? The cat thought, and thought, and thought, and finally, he had an idea. Hey, in John's old magic act, he had a pair of handcuffs. As ideas go, it wasn't a very good one. But sometimes a bad idea is huh? better than no idea at all. All right now, Odie. Do you understand what I'm doing here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, it's very simple. Over on the next block, there's a pie. I do not want to go over there and try to get the pie. And do you know why I don't want to go over there and try and get the pie? Because the pie is being guarded by the Bulldog of Doom. <gasps> to prevent me from being tempted to go over and get the pie at the expense of my life, I have handcuffed myself to this post here. And here is the only key. Okay, I want you to keep this key for me. Hold on to it, and no matter how much I ask for it, do not, I repeat, do not give it back to me. Is that clear? Wait a minute. It's a pie. I'm Garfield. I ought to be able to figure out a way to get my paws on that pie. Odie, bring me the key. Odie, I told you not to give it to me no matter what I said. Huh? Do you want me to be doomed by the Bulldog of Doom? <laughs> then don't give me the key. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what kind of pie it is. Maybe rhubarb pie, or pecan pie, or pumpkin pie. <gasps> what if it's pumpkin pie? <gasps> oh, I'll bet it's pumpkin pie. Warm, creamy, delicious pumpkin pie. I don't care if there's a Bulldog of Doom guarding it. Buddy, bring me the key, hurry. Aren't you hearing a word of what I said? No matter what I say, no matter how I beg or order you, do not, I repeat, do not give me back the key. Do you understand, Odie? <laughs> now, temptation won't make me go after that pie and get doomed by the bulldog of doom. <laughs> I'm safe. There he is. I'm not safe. Free all you can eat pancake festival, huh? It's the Bruno of Doom. I'd better go hide in another country. Oh! Ah, the handcuffs! <laughs> Odie, Odie, I need the key to these handcuffs. <laughs> no, I know I said not to give them to me, but <laughs> give them to me. <laughs> Odie, if you don't give me that key, Bruno's gonna flood me like for free all you can eat pancakes. <laughs> What do you mean you're too smart to fall for that? He's here, Odie! Free all you can eat pancakes on Crestview Avenue, huh? Did I say Crestview Avenue? I meant to uh, uh, view Crest Avenue. They have pancakes there and syrup and all uh, oh. Take this! Uh, on this. Uh, hey, would you believe free waffles? Uh, oh, uh, Odie! Now you give me the key. Great. Now I'll probably be tempted to go after that pie, and then the Bulldog of Doom will do the same thing to me. It was at that moment that the cat had what seemed like a pretty good idea. It was that great kind of idea that can solve two problems at the same time. In this case, the two problems were the big cat bully and the severe lack of pie. Pie? Oh, no. I'm not falling for another one of your tricks, Garfield. No, really, it's pie. Can't you smell it? Now that you mention it, 
I'm still not sure what kind of pie it is. Might be coconut cream, might be cinnamon pear, might be a uh, chicken pot pie. Hey, it is pie. If I know anything, I know when there's a pie. So, I was thinking we could split it and- We ain't splitting nothing. I'm taking the whole thing for myself. Uh, okay, if you say so, Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Uh, did I remember to warn you about the Bulldog of Doom? Bulldog of Doom? Uh, no, you didn't say anything about any Bulldog of Doom. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention there's a Bulldog of Doom. Bulldog of Doom? The cat was very proud of his cleverness as he made his way to the now unguarded pie. But he had another surprise. Oh, did you smell the pie I baked, little cat? Mm. Would you like some of it? Well, here. You take the whole thing. I'll bake another. It's the only kind of pie I know how to make. Raisin pie. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, by any chance, is that half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich still available? Hey, cats gotta eat. Odd. I'm always the first one to fall asleep around here. Garfield, why aren't you sleeping? Well, now, if I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be standing here on your bed now, would I? <sighs> Did you eat a lot this evening? Or do a lot of exciting activities? Hmm, let's see what I did this evening. <laughs> 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 nope, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, wait. Maybe it was that 93 cups of coffee I drank. Maybe I'll go watch more TV. Now, if you're watching me at this hour, it probably means you have insomnia and are unable to sleep. The man knows his audience. Counting sheep has a strange, relaxing effect on most people. It makes them sleepy. All you have to do is imagine sheep hopping over a fence. Hmm. Nothing to lose, huh? Okay, I'll give it a try. Sheep, 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 sheep. Imaginary sheep, and there's another one, and another one. Okay, guys, let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not getting sleepy. Eleven, twelve, two thousand eight hundred and seventy-six, two thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven, two thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight. 2,879. I'm getting exhausted. I can't feel my rear legs. 
Tell me about it. Why isn't he falling asleep? Right. You guys keep at it while I go get myself a uh, 3.22 in the morning snack. Oh, and no muddy hoof prints on the carpet. John just had it steam cleaned. Huh. We're leaping our wool off and he's wide awake. This is bad. Well, let's just hope the boss doesn't hear about it. <laughs> Hold us back. Now we're in for it. The three of you in my office. Now. Mr. Sandman, we can explain. Really? Then explain to me why you failed to lull that cat to sleep. This is Garfield we're talking about. The laziest cat the world has ever known. Look, uh, we know we let you down, but... It won't happen again, Mr. Sandman. You bet it won't. You're fired. Fired? Fired. Now get out of my sight. Bad boss. <laughs> this morning, people, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious lamb stew. Well, that's worth being up all night for, I guess. And I have all sorts of terrific things to tell you about our favorite topic in the whole world. We've got to get our jobs back. Being counted is the only thing I know how to do. How can we prove to Mr. Sandman we're still valuable members of his team? <laughs> I know. If we can't put that cat to sleep, let's put everyone else to sleep. Right. If we can put the whole city to sleep, he's got to see how good we really are. Someone's coming. Whoever it is, let's start with them. I'm getting started on breakfast, Garfield. <laughs> <gasps> Hello? Uh, hello, operator. Who do I call to report a sheep in my kitchen? Uh, that's right. I just saw one sheep in my kitchen. I have two sheep in my kitchen. I have three sheep in my kitchen. I have four sheep in my kitchen. I have five sheep in my kitchen. And I'll be showing you how to make that yummy lamb stew right after this brief break for about 900 commercials. Oh, this watching food has made me want food. I hope John has breakfast ready. And maybe lunch. Hey, someone's laying down on the job. Oh, well, I still have time to torment the mailman before the commercials are over. <gasps> Him too? Wake up! You're the mailman! You have a job to do! Plus, I have several ways to annoy you. <sighs> oh, hi, Garfield. I was just about to deliver your mail when a sheep went by, and then there were two sheep and three sheep and... <sighs> oh, what's going on here? Now then, people, huh? to make great lamb stew, you need as many lamb chops as you can get from one sheep. Now, uh, two sheep. Uh, three sheep. No, four sheep. Uh, four sheep. Six, nine, six, seven, eight. I'm so slow. So, I... <laughs> 
What's happening? We interrupt Eddie Gourmand's world of food for this news bulletin. Hmm. The governor has just called a press conference to denounce as huh? nonsense reports that a roving band of countable sheep is putting everyone in the state to sleep. We go live to our reporter Dave Stringer at that press conference. Dave? Steve, the governor said... Yeah, it was no truth to the rumors that... Yeah, I gotta catch it up. Back to you in the studio, Tom. Am I the only being in town not sound asleep? I've gotta find out. Ah, this is amazing. Everyone in the city is out. They almost have counted sheep and fallen asleep. Pat, can you believe it? All these people are just asleep like, wow. It's just too, too weird. And the only ones spared were people like that who don't know how to count. How could this happen? Or who could have caused it? Three renegade sheep who've strayed from the flock. That's who. We put everyone to sleep. Yeah. Now there's nothing for the rest of us to do. Sheep, sheep, please. I'll handle this. Ooh. That cat who's awake. Transport him here at once. <laughs> <laughs> Two? <sighs> Who'll make me pizza and pasta if he's asleep? <laughs> okay, I give up. Who are you? They call me Mr. Sandman. I'm in charge of putting people to sleep. You don't need sheep, you know. You could just watch the fall TV schedule. So, uh, what's the deal here? I fired three of my sheep because they hadn't put you to sleep. Any idea why they couldn't? I think it was the 93 cups of coffee. Most people in my world usually stop around 80 a day. Ah, makes sense. They put everyone to sleep in order to convince me to hire them back. Did it work? Yes but I've got to get them to come back so I can tell them. My Vortex can't seem to locate them. Well, send me back. I'll bet I can. Phew, that's hard work putting everyone to sleep like that. Hey, want to take a nap? We could count each other. Well, I had fun. They'll all wake up in eight hours. Then we'll put them to sleep again, and again, and again. I think I see a woman coming. <laughs> Let's get in position, guys. We'll put her to sleep. Hey, look, guys. It's, it's Little, Little Bo, Bo Peep. <laughs> Come on, boys. Time to go home, <laughs> wagging your tails behind you. Night, Garfield. <sighs> Mr. Sandman, any way I could switch to counting lasagnas? Oh, thanks. One, two, three. Oh, this is much more soothing. Four. 